Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. Today, Clay and I are doing something that we've never done before. We are going to a fashion show. <laughs> it's called the Atlas Fashion Show and some of our friends and people we know through the grapevine have been putting it on for a couple years and we've never gone, but I always thought it looked super cool. So it's super interesting because the audience has to also dress up in like a certain dress code and this year's theme is earth tones so we have to find some neutrals and like some like warm earthy colors to wear and clay's at work today so i have to pick out his outfit and i hope he likes it because i just don't have time to go out today and buy him a new outfit and I don't know what size pants he wears. So here's the style guide. I might try and go for more of like a this color down here. Okay, here's what I picked out for Clay. I have to iron it, so don't judge too much. So I was thinking like maybe like this shirt, maybe he could wear these green pants. Or if it has to be like all neutral, maybe he could wear these pants. Also, this is a cute shirt. I don't know, I think it's really cute. He looks cute in anything, so. And then going with the earth tone color scheme, I thought these shoes would be cool. Okay, this one is definitely kind of very like out there, at least for me. <laughs> this is technically a jumper, so it has shorts that are connected underneath. So these are like wide leg business pants I got from Amazon. So for me, it gets a 10 out of 10 for color scheme, but I don't know if it really makes sense the top is giving Wildest Dreams music video, and the pants are giving The Man music video. So it's kind of Taylor Swift music video inspired. I kind of like it in the mirror, but I probably will hate it on camera. Then again, fashion is weird, so it might be perfect. This one might be the winner for me. I'm not quite sure yet, but I have these camel colored business wide leg pants also from Amazon. The brand is called Tron Jewelry, but if you are interested in them, just comment and I will send you the link. This one kind of has like teeny little holes in it. Also for shoes, I'm thinking these heels that I wore for my bridal shower and haven't worn since. Here is the same outfit just with those more mushroom colored pants. I don't know, I'm not sure which one I like better. I definitely love the warmth of the camel color. I think that looks better with my skin tone. Okay, starting off with skincare, I always start with bio oil as my base, and then I go in with CeraVe daytime moisturizer on top of that to protect my skin from the sun. And then the bio oil just makes a really nice base for the foundation. Then I like to take the highlighting stick and go up the sides of my eyes to just make it look lifted. Then for a very tan and glowy look, I'm going in with this Tarte bronzer called Park Avenue Princess, which has 12 months till it expires, and I've had this for probably seven years, but it still works, so haha, -ha, FDA got you there. It's probably just another marketing tactic. That is not what you learn in marketing school. That's just what you learn from being an Enneagram 6. You think everybody's lying to you. And then for some color, I'm throwing in some Milk Blush, which I love this thing. If anybody has this, you know what I'm talking about. It's so good. Only blend up is what I've learned. <laughs> Did you know I wanted to be a beauty YouTuber when I was 12? Like I would actually make videos on my iPod and it would do a makeup routine like with makeup that I would secretly buy from the grocery store and then I would hide it because my stepmom and my dad didn't let me wear makeup yet. I wanted to be a beauty YouTuber so bad so I would make these videos on the iMovie app and I spent $5 on the iMovie app and that was like a big deal. That was like a big purchase for 12 year old me. I would make these videos and I wouldn't post them because they were terrible and no one should watch them ever. They were the worst quality ever, but man, I was a girl with a dream. For eyeshadow, I'm using this Morphe Desert Bouquet palette, um, which is very fitting because I live in Arizona. I'm just gonna use this color called Terrarium, which is like, 
the same color as those mushroom colored pants, which is also the eyeshadow I used for my wedding. And then I'm gonna take this Take a Hike color. If you know me in person, you've probably heard me talking about this Goodfellow hair pomade for men's hair at Target. And I use it for my eyebrows and it's changed my life. You'll save so much money and it actually holds your eyebrows in place, so I highly recommend it. Okay, and not to be a band mat wagoner, but this was a gift from my sister-in-law, Nina, and I really love it. It's the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment, and this is just perfect because it's sheer and it's shiny and it stays for a long time. So, big recommendation. I'm gonna comb out my hair a bit. Did some curls. All right, let's see your outfit club. Ooga, ooga. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, basically you took everything neutral and you put it on. You look really good. You see my uh, pants once I... Oh. <laughs> Here, I'll... S <laughs> Clearly you can see we have been... <laughs> Stop it. We've There's clothes all over the floor, but... Back. Here's the fit. Pretty. Thank you. Sheesh. You look good too. Cute. And here we go. Let's so, see you there. Are you sure you want me to use that? No, okay, use this one. And we'll see you there. So no matter how well I plan, we end up wearing the same outfit. We can't get pictures together. What? <laughs> the guy here, literally everybody's wearing our outfit. <laughs> 